Reading a bit further from this book, Stealing from God by Frank Turek, we're talking about how you are the most amazing thing in this world, human beings. All right, you are far more amazing than you thought. He says, so we're talking about fertilization of egg and sperm. He says, upon fertilization, a biological construction project of astonishing intricacy and precision began without any conscious direction from you or your mother. Hundreds of biological procedures took place automatically and simultaneously involving, among other things, chromosomes, amino acids, proteins, DNA, and cell division. As if they had minds of their own, your new cells, some of them eventually reproducing in the womb at a rate of more than 100,000 per second, knew where to go and what to do in order to become each of your major organs. How did certain cells just know to become heart cells, while others knew to become brain cells? Well, there is no known material explanation for their goal directedness. Their goal directedness is even more impressive when something goes wrong. For example, if an embryo is diverted from its goal, the embryo will make heroic efforts to get back on track. Developmental biologists observe this when they deliberately interfere to alter a developing embryo. Biologist Jonathan Wells writes, Remarkably, although interference may introduce deformities, the basic end point of development never changes. If they survive, fruit fly eggs always become fruit flies, frog eggs always become frogs, and mouse eggs always become mice. Not even the species changes. Every embryo is somehow programmed to develop into a particular species of animal. He observes that no matter what we do to a fruit fly embryo, there are only three possible outcomes. A normal fruit fly, a defective fruit fly, or a dead fruit fly. Not even a horse fly, much less a horse. So when we use all of our intelligence to divert an embryo, we cannot overpower its natural goal-directedness in order to get macro-evolution to work. Yet evolutionists ask us to believe that unintelligent processes have done so.